Hey guys! Okay, so it is time for the fourth episode... Wait. Yeah, fourth episode of my... Wait, I don't know if this is the third or fourth episode, but whatever. This is the Summer Loving video for fragrances. This was requested a lot when I was talking about which one I should do next. Also, side note, if my stomach growls during this video, excuse me in advance, I am starving and it is like 3 o'clock and I haven't eaten all day because I have been wandering around my house cleaning and doing random things and I haven't eaten anything yet and anyway, just ignore my stomach if it growls. Okay, so let's get into these perfumes. There are one, two, three, oh, I'm missing one. Oh, crap, it's over there. Ah, whatever, it's so far away. Anyways, there are originally like six perfumes, but one of them is like a, um, it's like, whatever, I'll get into it. Anyway, let's just get started. The first one is one of my, this is probably the newest of the bunch of perfumes that I'm going to show you guys. This is from a really random place. You probably don't associate this place with perfumes, but after I bought this, I certainly do. This is the L'Occitane um, Pivone Delicate. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but L'Occitane is Italian, I think. And um, yeah, it just says L'Occitane on the front, and on the bottom it just says... P-I-V-O-I-N-E space D-E-L-I-C-A-T-E. -E. So I'm guessing it's Pivone Delicate. I don't know if that's Italian or whatever, but it looks really nice and pretty. I really love the way this sits on my counter. Okay, anyway, this perfume smells so, so good. Funny story with this perfume. I was walking in the uh, Burlington Mall and I was walking by the store, L'Occitane, and I just smelled this really, I just got this whiff of a really florally sweet spring scent and I was like oh my god what is that I've never smelled anything that like clean and flowery before because the thing with this scent is oops sorry that's my phone going off um the thing about this scent is is it's a very clean floral scent it's not like super flowery and super like gross and sickening or anything like that it's very clean and I really really like it and if you're ever to smell this you are in essence smelling me because I wear this perfume all the time. It is so nice. I get a lot of compliments when I wear it and they sell roller balls of this scent so you can keep it in your purse. I personally have one of those little like you can fill up with perfume. They're not travel O's. It's like the knockoff one from like CVS. But anyway, I have one of those filled with this so I can put it on the go. But they do sell roller balls and I remember being in the mall one day and I put some of this on and then I got into like the Nordstrom area and the lady was like, "Ooh, who smells so flowery today? And I was like, that's me. A random lady in Nordstrom liked it. If that is worth anything to you, then then, you know, so be it. So, anyways, this is a really good scent for summer because it's very clean and summery and it works for really any spring or summer or really any season in general, but I think of spring and summer when I smell this scent. So, the L'Occitane Pivone Delicate. Um, okay, classic summer fragrance. I've loved this for over a year. If you check back on my older videos when I talked about summer beauty favorites, I talked about this. The Victoria's Secret Bombshell Summer. Victoria's Secret just does it right when it comes to scents. That's the bottom line. They know what they're doing when they make these scents. And... Whoa, did you hear that noise? I have no idea what that noise was, but it sounded like some pipe just like blew up in my house. Anyway should probably do something about it, but I don't really know what to do. So anyways, um, I'm just going to continue to talk about this perfume. You know how to make a scent that is sexy yet sophisticated and fun and flirty and summery. Uh, like, that's literally all the adjectives I can use to describe this perfume. It is just the definition of summer. When summer is in the name, you got to trust Victoria's Secret in that they know what they're doing. So this is a very... Um, I said this before in one of my really, really older videos when I was talking about this. It's kind of like a masculine cologne kind of scent. Cologne isn't a word, but I'm just going to pretend it is for this video. Um, it's very masculine, and when I smelled it at first, I was like a little turned off by it, but then I kind of let it sit on my skin, and then it warmed up and became like sweeter and more feminine, and I really, really loved it. So I'm a huge fan of this perfume, and I totally suggest you go and find this in your Victoria's Secret. I remember seeing it when I went there yesterday for the semi-annual sale, so I would pick this one up. I've had this for like over a year or about a year, and I've used that much, so it's definitely long-lasting as well. Um, 
Okay, so this is another semi-new perfume. When I think of this perfume, I think of gym class. So weird, I know. But I'm the girl that brings, like, a bag of, like, perfume samples and roll-ons and small um, perfume sizes. So all the girls in the locker room that are in my gym class, we can all, like, spray ourselves before we leave after gym because at that point you just want to, like, smell clean after you've been running around or doing whatever you do in gym class. So I had a roll-on of this, and one of my really good friends, Shayna, if you're watching this, hey, Shayna. She loved um, this scent as the um, rollerball. Oh, this is making a lot of noise. Um, it's a really, really good scent. This is uh, what scent am I talking about? It would kind of be helpful if I said what I was talking about. This is the Escada Sexy Graffiti scent. Escada comes out with perfumes and then they just disappear off the face of the earth. So if you like an Escada fragrance, you better be prepared to say goodbye to it fast because it goes away so quickly. But I went to Ulta and I found out that Ulta like has them there. So I was like, yay, this is great. So I got like the rollerball and then I got the full size. But this isn't the biggest size. This is like medium size. Um, did I talk really fast just now? I don't even know. I don't even catch myself at this point. Um, what I think is really cute is it comes with this little, oh, and it comes off. Um, this little like, uh, I don't know, little bow tie for the perfume. It's, it's not a bow tie. But anyway, it has this cute little martini glass. It's super cute. But yeah, the Escada fragrance is awesome. It smells super sweet and very fun for summertime, it's awesome. Just smell it and you'll know what I mean. So I love Escada Sexy Graffiti. Then, this is part, this is the sister fragrance to my all-time favorite fragrance. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, you'll know that my all-time favorite perfume is Dior Addict 2, which is this perfume, but it's not this perfume. It looks like this perfume and it has a pink top. This is the Dior Addict to Life, and this is their newest of the Dior Addict family, I want to say. I think this one... It doesn't compare to my all-time favorite perfume because that one will always be my all-time favorite perfume and it's just like classic me, my fragrance. I love it. I've gone through bottles and bottles of it. But this one is a little bit sweeter and that's why I picked it out to put in this video. And the one that's missing from this is my all-time favorite perfume, but you guys know it's my all-time favorite perfume so I don't really need to go into it. This is a really nice perfume because it smells like my favorite one. But it's just a little bit more younger. Yeah, it's a little younger in um, its fragrance. So I would just check it out from Sephora. The only reason I'm making this video is to kind of recommend things for you guys to go out and smell yourselves. Not like perfumes for you guys to just go out and buy out on a limb because you trust me. You really need to smell these um, for yourself. Scents are really personal, which is why they're always my least favorite video to make. Because it's like, I don't know what you guys are going to like compared to what I like. And I don't know if my descriptions fit the actual product, so I always get a little worried. But, um... Yeah, so this is a really good one for summer, really all year round, but because it's a little sweeter, I would suggest it for summer summertime. So this is Dior Addict to Life, um, and it's an eau de toilette, so it's not going to be that potent. Um, okay, one last perfume. This one actually comes with a funny story as well. Um, I was in chemistry class. I got a whiff of this really, really good perfume. And the girl sitting next to me loves, like, perfumes and stuff like that or whatever. She's, like, a girly girl. Like, I know the girl. Um, and I was like, oh, my God, what are you wearing right now for perfume? Like, I'm literally the only person that would do that. Is that creepy? I don't really think it's that creepy. I don't know. She was definitely caught off guard, but I don't think she thought it was creepy. But is that creepy? I hope that's not creepy. Uh, if it is, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because I love the fragrance you're wearing because I ended up buying it. Anyway, oh, it's Tommy Girl by Tommy Hilfiger, and I was like, whoa, Tommy Hilfiger, I don't really think of, like, female sense I thought it was all like cologne so I ended up going to Sephora and I got Tommy girl I know so bad but I ended up buying it because I smelled it and it smelled so good okay this is amazing you guys need to check this fragrance out because honestly it is summer in a bottle it smells like it kind of smells like a uh, sunscreen and the beach like this smells like it just smells like very I don't know, it just smells like you're getting ready to do go out in the sun, go tanning, or go to the beach, or go out with friends, or just something like that in the summertime, because it has that, like, you get that whiff of, like, sunscreen, and that, like, sweetness, and then that cleanliness, it's just, I don't, I don't know, this is just an amazing fragrance, go to Sephora and check this out, and then go to Ulta and check out the Escada fragrance, and go to L'Occitane and check out that fragrance, and go to Victoria's Secret, and then go to Sephora and smell the Dior, like, smell all these fragrances, because I love them so much, so... 
I hope this video was a little bit helpful. These are just the fragrances that you're going to find me wearing over the summer. Like if you smell me, I'm going to smell like one of the five that I just talked to you about. Um, and that is like honest, that's, that's what's going to happen. So that's why I wanted to talk about these products with you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Ciao!